Praise God and good morning. I would like to share with us the word of God this Sunday morning. And I believe that the Lord is going to minister to us in a very special way. And I want to speak about a subject I have titled the concept of fatherhood. The concept of fatherhood. There is no life that can ever be achieved without a father. And by extension, the mother. So no matter how successful you may be, no matter how anointed you are, the concept of fatherhood is a very, very important aspect of the life of any person. Even in the natural sense, a father is an extremely important person in the life of any individual. So I want to discuss the concept of fatherhood. Yesterday, with a team of friends, we managed to visit a father, a spiritual father, who impacted in our lives more than 27 years for some of us and some people more than 20 years. But we took all the journey to go and appreciate, just to say thank you, because of the issues that he inculcated, the kind of lifestyle. And we, when we went there, we were so excited about the development of his own family, the achievements of his own children. That was such an important aspect of life that we are able to see. And I was privileged to speak, as, uh, 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 to offer a sermonet in that environment or in that ceremony. And I want to speak the same to us this morning. The Bible in the book of 2 Timothy chapter number 2 and verse number 1 and 2. This is what the Bible tells us. 2 Timothy chapter number 2 verse number 1 and 2. The Bible says, You therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus. Paul is speaking to his son, Timothy. Then verse number 2. And the things you have heard from me among many witnesses... Commit this to faithful men who will be able to teach others also. And this is where the concept of fatherhood lies. A father, in the spiritual sense, can only be an individual who guides and transfers knowledge. He has the capacity to rebuke, correct, encourage, and hold your hand towards a particular direction. That is the concept of fatherhood. And I hear many people saying, oh, this is my spiritual father, that is my spiritual father, the other person is my spiritual father. And let me tell you, a father has to have what we call presence in your life. In the context that when you are having achievements, your father will be there. And when you take a wrong route, your father should be there to correct you and to guide you. And as I spoke in this session yesterday, I said, the things you have heard of me commit to faithful men who will be able to teach others also. Now, Paul was speaking to Timothy. And so those many years, those 27 years ago, these men impacted in our lives when we wanted direction. When we sought to be filled by the Spirit of God, when we sought spiritual direction, when we were wayward, when we had just given our lives to the Lord Jesus Christ, He was willing to come through and make us to grow. And now, let me ask a question this morning. Even as you pursue your interests in ministry or professional uh, growth, do you have an individual who can bring you and call you to order? And even an individual who can transfer what they carry into your life. Praise God. I was so amazed that this individual, while he taught us in college, has now gone many years and is now a professor in one of the universities of our country. Now that speaks of his professional growth, his career growth. But we cannot downplay the impact he had in our lives as a spiritual father. He was the patron of the Christian Union in those days, and he continued to impact in the lives of people. And yesterday, we sat and I speak to listen to the words that he had to speak into our lives. And it was so amazing when I had the prayer 
that he made specifically and individually on every person who was present in that particular sitting. Words that can only open up heaven towards our lives. Words that can speak into our ministries. Words that can speak or are speaking already into our families. It was amazing here a father pray a blessing on his children. And amazing. And we took time to go back. We wanted to hear. We want to receive the blessing of God. We wanted to understand. And I asked him a question. What do you feel in your heart when you see the success of your children? How is the feeling? And, and I was amazed when he spoke to us and says, there is no greater satisfaction than seeing your children uh, succeed, seeing your children do what you did not do yourself. See your children succeed. See your children grow to become people who revere God and do according to the will and the purpose of God. And this is a challenge to all of us. Now, Paul writes to Timothy and says, You therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus. These are wonderful statements that can be spoken into the life of any individual. Be strong, not in your power, not in your knowledge. Be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus. So he's pointing his son to the Lord Jesus Christ. And I can tell you, the Bible tells us somewhere else in the Bible now, the same Timothy Paul tells him, you know, uh, stir up the gift that is in you through all the laying of hands of the elders upon you. Stir up the gift that is in you. Now, there is what I call transfer of uh, anointing, transfer of grace. Now, when a father prays into your life and speaks into your life, it can transfer, it can make your pace faster. Praise the Lord. And then it goes for to say, And the things you have heard from me among many witnesses, commit to faithful men who will be able to teach others also. Praise God. Now, the biggest challenge to us as sons, the biggest challenge to us as sons is that the things we have heard of our fathers, the things we have heard, not just from our fathers, but from many witnesses, the Bible places responsibility on us that we will teach other faithful people who will be able to teach others also. In other words, he that has been fathered must father. He that has been fathered must father. That means what the grace you have received, the knowledge you have received, the glory you have received, you must be willing to share the same to other people so that their lives can indeed be blessed. Ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, I want to invite you to this school of thought that there can only be an error in society or in the church when people do not know or do not recognize the concept of fatherhood. Now, there are many things that God would have wanted to do, you know, in the lineage of King David, you know, Solomon and all these people. But by virtue of the penance that he had with the father, some of these things were avoided because the grace, the transfer of the commitments and covenants with the father was able to... It's also true that even in negative aspects, the, the concept of fatherhood still matters. And that's why I want you to understand that you cannot go very far if you downplay or if you underrate or if you underestimate the role of fatherhood in your life. God has never worked with lone rangers. God does not work like that. God does not work with people who operate without a lineage. For the Bible to help us to trace the lineage of Jesus Christ, it is important therefore to understand that spiritual lineage matters. And so does physical or bloodline lineage matter. Lineage matters. And in the concept of spiritualism, lineage matters. In the concept of physical life of individuals, lineage still matters. And so, if you want to go very far, if you want to reach greater levels of your life, whether spiritually or physically, you must avail yourself to seek what I'll call fatherhood blessing. Praise God. Praise God. If you look at the story of Jacob and Esau, you'd see that, uh, you know, when the father wanted to bless, he said, go and make me some food. 
I'm about to die so I can release my blessing to you. I just want to speak into your life right now. If you know there are individuals in your life, let's start with the spiritual perspective. Individuals in the spiritual dimension who have impacted in your life over the years. It is important to reach out to them so that they can continue to speak that grace in your life. This is the concept of fatherhood. You cannot think that now that you have gone to university and gotten four degrees and your father did not even get a degree, you will be cheating yourself to, to imagine that you are now much better than your parents. Things don't work like that. Things don't go like that. The fatherhood spirit is important in our lives. For a father to speak into your life, it is so significant. Now let me just demystify and say that a one-off visit to a father may not release the entire blessing that you might require. Sometimes fathers call you and tell you the extent to which uh, the property they have. Now if you have a father in your life, be it spiritual or physical, who have not shared with you their deep things on how they want you to carry on or move to another level, you have a long way to go. And for those whose fathers have slept, you have to seek God to help you appreciate and understand so that an order, a direction in your life which you need will begin to be exercised and to operate in your life. I'm talking about the concept of fatherhood. Many people have failed. Ministries have failed. A lot of things have failed because people did not embrace the concept of fatherhood. Nobody chooses a father. It just happens. So, your growth in the spirit, your growth in ministry, has a relationship on the recognition of fathers in your life. And these things you have heard from me among many witnesses. Commit this to faithful men who will be able to teach others also. So the question is, have you been faithful to warrant the blessing of a father? And are you responsible enough to share that which you have heard? Now, this is the concept that I brought to us this morning. And I pray that in the name of Jesus Christ, you will not continue to operate in the individualistic spirit or Lone Ranger spirit. We believe in God and God will exceedingly do great things for us in the mighty name of Jesus. The good Lord bless you. Let us pray. Heavenly Father. We thank you because of your grace and we thank you because of your power. Have your way, be exalted and be lifted this particular time. Thank you for teaching us the concept of fatherhood. Have your way, be lifted and be exalted. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. The good Lord be with you. The good Lord bless you. I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow morning by the grace of God. Amen and amen.